How's it going everybody? This is your best friend in real estate, David Stoltzman. Today's video is an exciting one. It's one that's topical. You hear rumblings about this all the time. I've seen articles written. A lot of them are just goofiness, but the main question is, are we in a bubble? One of the happenings right now in the resale market, that's what we're talking about is the resale market, is there's some tremors of it slowing down and it's getting softer, um, sort of like the Dallas Cowboys. But um, in all reality, yes, the market's slowing down. It's gone from about an 11 out of 10 to a 9 out of 10. Uh, and that's simply because demand is leaving a little bit. I'll explain. So in order to see where we're at now, you need to know what exactly caused the last bubble. The last recession we had was real estate related. The one that we have coming up, it's coming soon, probably sooner rather than later. It's not gonna be real estate related. Real estate will be affected, but it will not be the cause of that recession, like 2007. So let's jump in. So what caused the, the bubble in the first place is this. This is These are bar graphs. Uh, these are not percentage representations. This is just to illustrate a point of real demand versus fake or faux demand. Um, and without getting too technical, I'll try to wrap this up as quickly as I can uh, without being just long-winded because I'll talk about this stuff forever. So in 2007, we're right before the crash happened, when the market was at its peak, you had the, all of the real estate demand for houses is in this bar. Well, inside of that bar, you had real demand. People that actually could afford a home, that wanted a home, that were out there looking for homes and getting homes. Then on stacked on top of that is going to be your fake demand. So what caused that fake demand to happen? Well, you had, you know, ninja loans, no income, no job. Hiya. <laughs> they weren't real ninjas. Uh, so ninja loans, people that fake demand. So all of a sudden people that could just get a loan, if they could fog a mirror, they could buy a home they now are lumped into the demand for homes. Everyone needs a home, they want a home. Well, if you could fog a mirror, you could buy a home. So all of a sudden demand went crazy. And when demand for anything increases, price increases. So these fake people, or I should say fake bank accounts, created excess demand. Not to mention you also had uh, appraisers, just saying, you know, yeah, checking off on, on contracts instead of giving their own opinion, just saying, you had the mortgage lenders saying, hey, here's our contract price, make the appraisal that price so we can get this deal closed. Appraisers said, you got it. So again, that just fed fuel to the flame. And next thing you know, you inflate prices. And once this thing runs out of steam, poof, the bubble pops and what you're left with is the real demand for homes. So when demand all of a sudden goes away, <laughs> eraser, when demand goes away or decreases, prices decrease. So thus your bubble pops um, and you're left with your real demand. Now let's fast forward to today. Is it a lot like the last time we had a, a housing run up or, or prices increase this fast? Not exactly. Uh, because this time, the demand is more real. You have regulations that are maybe even a little too tight, uh, but that's, that's for debate. But regulations are way stronger than they were for everybody, for buyers, for lenders, for appraisers. Um, realtors, we still are good at opening doors, so that helps. But uh, the demand this time is a lot more real. So... What caused prices to shoot up all of a sudden? You had more demand for homes suddenly appear. Where did it come from? Hmm. Well, especially if you're a DFW, you had you know relocation. You know, real people with money moving to another place that you increase numbers without increasing supply, homes, price goes up. So relocation people, you also had the ability to buy a new build Vanish, along with DFW, who's, well, let's speak about DFW for this certain aspect. 
DFW, we were already 50,000 units behind until everyone started moving here. And we had a net gain of 100,000 people a year up until everyone moved here at one time. So between the relocation and then not being able to buy new builds, all of a sudden those people that would be in demand for new builds, they got put into the resale program here. So they are stacked on top of the already real demand for homes and they're pushing the prices up because there's not enough homes to go around for all these people. So now what? Well, we drove, we drove the prices up. At this point, people are asking, well, whoa, what's making the market soften? Well, a lot of factors. Most people who wanted a home, new build or otherwise, they would have gone new build, but they needed a home. If they wanted a home, they got one already in 2021. They did whatever they could to get into the home, paid what they had to pay, eat the costs, figured it would go up no matter what. So, hey, we'll overpay. We'll make up that difference down the line um, of contract and appraisal. Um, those people got a home. People who kind of got discouraged, who put in 20 offers and were like, well, I'm not going to pay a hundred grand over for this home. They punted. They punted on 2021 and they either stayed in their current home without selling it or they just rented for another year. So they went away. Again, people that already got a home, they went away because they got home and they're no longer part of demand. And people that got discouraged, they left too. Uh, meanwhile, you have the folks that are in the camp of, well, I would sell, but because you can't find a home. Well, they've all of a sudden started to come out a little bit. Um, so they're putting their home on the market to see what'll happen. So you have, you have supply increasing. At the same time, you also have demand softening because we're just at, we're in that part of the market cycle anyway, where we're after school, but we're before Labor Day. Uh, Labor Day's in a few days, but you kind of have that end of Q3 sort of lull in the market where it's just gonna soften a little bit. How much? Well, we don't know. But all of a sudden, this little demand, this extra excess demand from our relocation folks and from our new build folks went away. Not to mention, oh yeah, lumber all of a sudden is coming back on. So lumber and other materials are price going down, um, quantity going up. So you're starting to see prices in materials equalize, uh, which again takes people out of the market, they're going, well, I'll wait because I can build a home now in six months. I won't put anything under contract today, but I'll just wait. I'll get a new home soon. So I'll take myself out of the market. So now you're getting you're left with those people who have time to buy a home, who are coming into the market at the right time because now they're like, oh, I have the funds to buy a home. Now now's a good time. And you're left with your real demand. So as you race that a little bit, prices go down a touch because you decrease demand and while increasing supply. So that's effectively it. So are we in a bubble? No, not like last time. Uh, a bubble would be created if all of a sudden we had no explanation for why prices were going up or if we had a fake demand or a fake supply. I don't know how you can have a fake supply of houses, but um, I guess you could control the, the quantity of supply and then all of a sudden just boom, flood the market with homes, but it's not like stocks. So it takes a while to build a home. But um, that's where we're at today. So is there a bubble? No. Will prices go down? Yes. Uh, I can get into that in another video of why I think prices are going to go down. Uh, you, you have a, you basically have a average annual, since 2013, you have an average annual increase in average price, about six and a half percent in DFW. Uh, in, in the last year, we've gone up year, we've gone up 24%. So we've effectively quadrupled our <laughs> average sale price. So that's got to go somewhere. That's atypical. So I think what you're going to see is you're going to see a, you know, price kind of go up and then come down and then settle at a certain point. So that's, I thought I drew something inappropriate. I'm glad I didn't. Uh, so that's what you're going to kind of see prices do. So prices will start to come down, but they'll equalize. They'll equalize out where they should be. Again, where the demand says that they're supposed to be because the, the run up in price here, is from that excess demand. Now everybody got their home, prices are gonna come back down to where they should be. Uh, that's the quickest I could explain this to you. Do we have a bubble? No, I could have just said that to begin with. So uh, 
there you go. There you have it. If you have any questions about this or about the market in general, guys, please call, text, email me. I'm happy to discuss, believe me, I'm happy to discuss it with you. Uh, kind of a nerd with this stuff. Uh, and then if you need any help with, uh, you know, buying or selling a home, I also do that as well. You know, a good guy or a good gal. Or if you need a second set of eyes, I'm happy to do that too. Uh, thanks for watching. Look forward to the next one. I'm going to try to put out a video every day in September, so stay tuned.